Today we've made some very important progress in safely removing this unlawful protest from our streets. At every step in this operation, we've been upfront and clear with the unlawful protesters that they must leave the area. We've advised them of our enforcement efforts so they could continue to make informed decisions. We've backed up those warnings with a deliberate and methodical operation using lawful and safe tactics. The officers on the ground have shown patience and professionalism. They are well trained and experienced and they needed all of that expertise to bring about the results that we are seeing. At every step they faced a barrage of resistance, shoving and vitriol. We, are, we all saw that this as the protesters were aggressive with the officers and we needed to use horses at one point. As a result, we responded this morning by adding helmets and batons to our equipment for the safety of our officers. When we deployed our officers this morning, you saw the public order units on the ground sweeping across the downtown core from east to west and moving demonstrators out of the parliamentary precinct. Our officers continued to face resistance. At one point, a flare was ignited by a protester. Officers used a chemical irritant, also known as pepper spray, to disperse unlawful demonstrators who were resisting police orders. Sadly, we again saw young children being brought to the unlawful demonstration and to the front of our police operation. This is dangerous and is putting young children at risk. So far today, we've arrested 47 people. That brings the total so far to 170. As I indicated earlier, we will have the opportunity to review all of those files. There are complaint mechanisms for people to enter into if they feel that there is excessive use of force uh, by members of the, our police service. What I will also say is we have been here for three weeks. I have been at this podium for the last five days imploring people to leave asking them to get out of our streets. This occupation is over. We have advised them that if they peacefully leave, they may go home. That still exists. We also indicated that we would escalate and forcefully remove people from the streets if they did not comply. Some of that is what you're seeing. So I will stand here today again and say, this demonstration is over. Go home. If you don't go home, we will remove you from the streets.